This is the Bell HEC Desired Z, recently landed in Canada. Really happy to get my hands on this. I've been wanting to test it out for a little bit now. It comes with Android 2.2, HEC's Sense UI 2.0. And in this first review, we'll go over the hardware and then follow up because there's so much involved in this device with another review. You can see that on the front here. It's got this optical trackpad, makes it really easy to navigate between, but also comes with a 3.7 inch display resolution of 480 by 800, so I'm not too sure how often you'll actually use that trackpad there. Buttons on the bottom, you got your home, menu, back, and search. Earpiece there. Left hand side, you got your micro USB port, volume rocker, 3.5mm headset jack, plus a power. Right hand side you got a dedicated key for the camera which is 5 megapixels. You got a flash and also this button right here opens up the back battery cover so really nice simple to use so you don't have to really kind of muffle around with the bottom and work your way to get the battery backing off. Brush aluminum, 1300 milliamp battery, place for your SIM card. Under the battery is your micro SD card comes with 8 gigs, can hold up to 32, so I really like the actual feel of the device, the look of the device, it's got a nice style to it, especially with this brush aluminum on grey. Now this can take, as I'm speaking about the camera, it can take HD videos, 720p videos, weighs a brick, I'm not going to lie to you, this weighs a, a ton at 180 grams, so just so you know that what you're getting yourself into it does weigh a little bit but I'm sure with anything you'll get used to it over time now the main thing that people are talking about is this hinge here you can see that one of the features of it it's got this slide out keyboard four row keyboard double shift key double function key quick access for your shortcuts but it's this hinge that people are talking about you can see it really is connected by this crossbar. So if that ever busts on you, this device might not be as stable as it should. But overall, it does slide out really nice. The actual keyboard has a really nice backlit as well. So I'm just going to be a little rough with it just so you can see that it will stand the test of time. If I move it up and down here, you can see that it does have a little bit of a give. But that is expected where the hinges are actually placed just so you're aware so let's give it a little bit of a rundown see if I can shake it around for you I think you'll be okay with it it's really smooth to the point there it's nice if you don't choose to use a keyboard, you can always use a touch screen for all your messages.